hey beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustler tv today we are back with a new video and today we'll be doing a simple side part sewing leave out and today's has provided by curls queen hair they sent me over three bundles of 26 inches light yakky bundles and i'm going to be doing a side part sewing on genesis today now for starters you guys this hair came so so full and i'm going to show you how full the hair is just in one bundle itself like one bundle is super full so you know all three together is like really really light Ugh, it was everything and i love the texture of the hair love the thickness from root to end like these bundles is a1 okay and it's a very natural looking texture so i liked the way it blended and everything when i finished the install but for starters i did go ahead and start off with the braid pattern and now i'm just taking my beautiful hustler growth oil and just putting the oil into the braids now i know my braids look a little rough y'all i got these nails on so it was kind of hard to really you know grip it how i want it and gen texture is so thick but i'm going to sew on top of a stocking cap today just to release some of the tension off her hair and just make everything you know easier as far as installing i could just sew on a cap going back and forth back and forth so i'm just going to take one black cap and apply it over the braids and i'm going to take the first bundle and begin to sew but i'm just stretching it out because you know cap a little tight and i'm just going to apply that um you can use a netted cap um for the sewing versus a stocking cap but if you don't have any you can use a stocking cap or you can just sew on top of the braids it's just up to you whatever you prefer but this is what the cap looks like on her head and now i'm gonna go ahead and take the very first bundle and begin to sew so what i do for that first bundle i double weft it i sew it as a double weft and the remaining of the bundles i sew single but as you can see this is the very first bundle and it is super super full when i tell y'all i love this hair and this texture absolutely full absolutely a natural looking pattern and um, i'm just going to unravel it but i'm going to keep the weft doubled and i'm just going to start by taking my needle and the two loose ends of this weft i'm just going to stick that needle through both of those uh tracks on the end and um stick the needle through and begin to attach it to the braids and the stocking cap and sew it down and as i do my stitching i just um do like a double or triple wrap around the needle and then pull it to create a knot in every stitch that I create so um, I'm gonna just you know be quiet and let you guys see what I'm doing So um, for me, the way I stitch, and I know it's totally different from most people, I go under the weft and then I come on top of it, like out where the braid is, and I wrap the needle around um, two or three times, well, wrap the thread around my needle two or three times, and I pull it, and it creates a knot within every stitch. And also, when I'm doing my sewing, I do not cut the wefts. I just you know do the flip over method um you know tack down the end and just continue to go back and forth and this is why it takes a really only takes me 30 minutes to do a sewing honestly like 30 45 minutes at most just for the install part and then you know of course doing a leave out it's like an extra 20 minutes or whatever but honestly it's because i do not cut the tracks and i just do the flip over method as i go along i get to the end flip the track back secure the end down and i continue to sew and like i'm mentioning i'm only double wefting that very first bundle and then the rest of the two bundles i will sew it singly just to make sure it is super flat you know at the top and everything like that so i'm just trying to get that fullness in there and that's why i start with the double weft but then i go in and i single And I do want to apologize, you guys, for the angle that I'm recording in. So I actually left my uh, phone holder for my ring light. So I literally just had to sit the phone on the ring light as still as possible. So I'm so sorry I could not get, like, the top view and the angles that I really wanted to get. I had to just, like, place my phone on there and 
just make it balance um so i could record this you know video for you so i do apologize in advance if you're not getting the best angles but i felt like you know the most important part was actually how i do the sewing and i would switch the angle once we get to the leave out part so you guys can kind of see you know how i get it to blend and everything like that but um this part here is basically repetition i'm just going to continue to sew back and forth when i get to the end flip it um tack the end down and just continue to sew and i'm trying to bring you know zoom in a little bit more for you guys to see i'm flipping in here bringing a needle underneath and i'm going to do like two or three or four two or three or four two to four knots on the end to secure the track and then i'm going to continue to sew along the perimeter Here is an even closer uh, look of what I'm doing. Going underneath, wrapping around two or three times, pulling it through, tight it, and I'm just going to keep doing that, okay?
So now that that first bundle is in, now I'm going to go ahead and I started on that second bundle and I am sewing it single just so it can lay really flat towards the top. So I'm just going to do the same thing, start by putting a needle at the end of it, flipping it, um, you know, stitching it across, flipping it over, securing the ends and moving right along. And like I said, once again, guys, it's still repetition. You just want to go back and forth as you work your way up to the top, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um loops uh wrap the thread around a needle two to three times pull it and just keep it going and you do not have to sew so close together because every knot that you create is securing the track so you don't have to do super tight tight stitches you know what i'm saying you could do like a few centimeters apart it still will be secure it still will last it still will be fine as long as you're securing it with those uh, knots in between every stitch And again, here's a closer view at the top, flip over method. And I'm just going to go, like I mentioned, guys, once again, just back and forth, back and forth. And sometimes I get my little, you know, thread tangled up when I do my little pull out. But just take your time and unloose the little knot and, you know, just keep it pushing, keep it going. And I'm just going to do this all the way up. So here is the angle change. Um, I'm almost done sewing it at the top. I still have a few more tracks to go at the top. So, but before I do the rest of it, I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut that cap where that leave out is. So you guys can, well, so I can really see what more, you know, I have left to sew. So I still have a needle attached to her head and I'm opening up that third bundle, which I will only need a little bit of that. And I only used like two and a little piece of that third bundle when I tell y'all this hair was super, super full. So even with like really just two bundles, the hair is super full. Like when I tell you this hair is thick root to ends, thick root to ends. And like I mentioned, it is um, light yakky pattern. Um, so it's like that natural looking stray hair and um, it is 26 inches. So super full, I have no complaints. Um, I just love these bundles all around, but um, I'm going to continue to uh, stitch at the top and then when I get closer to the leave out, I'm going to cut that cap to expose the leave out so I can see, really see where I'm stitching the last few pieces before, um, you know, blending the leave out.
just want to be very careful when you're cutting that cap. You do not want to cut their hair. Um, you just want to cut all the hair to expose the complete leave out and finish sewing whatever you have to on that top area right there. So I'm just going to be stitching that back and forth. And when I get as close to the braid as possible, I will stop stitching and begin to um, blend the leave out. I didn't do no hard, crunchy leave out. I just kept it nice and soft using a little wax stick and, you know, a little edge control, a little holding spray. But um, as far as the leave out itself, I didn't put any product on a leave out other than a wax stick and using that flat iron to sleek and blend it all together. But stay tuned, I will show you that shortly. So now that I have, um, you know, unbraided the leave out, it's time to do some blending. So for my blending today, well, the product that I'll be using for this whole leave out entourage thing here is just the my Glam Wax Stick, which you can purchase right now on my website. My Edge Control, which you can purchase right now on my site as well. And that would be like the only two products. And I did use a little holding spray, but then I went back in with my um, uh, Edge Control anyway. But... What I'm doing is I'm going to just part all the hair away from the um, leave out. As you can see, I sewed it all the way up to the leave out, as I mentioned. And I'm just taking that hot comb and just hot combing the tracks down. So any little lumps from the tracks being like bent or folded, I would just smooth it out. And now I'm going to take the wax stick and I'm going to take my um, edge. I use my little small edge um, hot comb first to get like to those roots. And then I'm going to go in with my Babyliss, um flat iron and press that hair out again. Um, if you don't have a really, really skinny flat iron, um, like a regular flat iron to get to those roots, you can definitely use that little um, edges one and hit those roots really good. And then I went back in with my nice, hot and steamy um, Babyliss um, iron and went and pressed it out and then went back in with the edge brush just to get anything I missed. And Jen hair is very even because she just recently got uh, like a Dominican blowout and trim. So, um, her hair is very straight and I know usually if somebody just got their hair freshly cut and you do like a sew-in you will actually see the separation from the cut piece um to the rest of it but I'm going to show you guys how I blended the ends of that straight cut piece with the hair as well so that I will also be showing you that as well but um I'm just going to go in and I like to go in section by section piece by piece and just add wax and hot comb and press it out straight and you know just get it nice and sleek
So as you can see, after the hot comb in there, if you kind of pay attention to where Jen hair stops, it's very straight and blunt, and it's not blending in. So what I'm going to do is take that wax stick and apply it right at the ends of where her hair has been cut. And I'm going to take the flat iron as well as some of that weave and flat iron and blend it together. And you will see it will become a smooth transition into the hair. Even though the hair is slightly uh, darker than her natural hair color, but once I press everything together, it just blended in and smooth right on in. It didn't give like press leave out, frizzy ends, and then hair. I had to press her natural hair with the weave with that added wax on the ends to really get it to blend and flow in there. So, um, now that I did that, I'm going to pull out a little piece to give her a nice curl sideburn. Um, in a little swoop. I didn't do no crazy dramatic swoops. I wanted to keep it nice and natural looking, but this is what the hair looks like after using my wax and the hot comb. I mean, not the hot comb, but the flat iron to blend it. Nice and healthy looking as it should. It's supposed to give leave out, which it should. It should give natural as it should. And I'm just going to go all around and make sure um, everything is blended all around. And another thing I wanted to mention, you guys, like I didn't even bone straight this hair because i liked it that kinky texture look so i just ran my flat iron through it but i didn't want to give off no bone straight look i liked it you know i really like that yakky look so i tried to keep it looking as natural yakky as possible but you know still gave her that nice blended look so um as i mentioned i'm going to put out a little piece for her sideburn area to give her um that you know more of a dramatic look versus just regular like this and um, I'm going to use holding spray at first, but then I decided to go in with the edge control and, you know, really secure that area there. Um, and I will show you that after I finish, you know, going through the back of her hair to blend that leave out before I actually hot comb and smooth out the other side. And as I mentioned at first, I went in with the holding spray and, you know, smoothed out her hair and, you know, swooped it. But then I wanted to go back in and really catch every little piece. So I decided to use a little edge control on top of that holding spray. So first I started off with the holding spray, um, curled the sideburn area, secured it with, you know, um, the holding spray. But then I was like, nah, we need this thing like sleek, sleek. So that's why I went in with the edge control right after and you know really gave it it gave it more of that sleek you know look um so i just kind of like you could say prepped it with the holding spray but then i secured it with the edge control so that's what i'm going to be doing Thank you. 
and this is what it looks like after adding that um, edge control. Nice, swooped, and sleek, nice, clean look. And that's exactly what I was going for. So now we're gonna go ahead and do, you know, press the leave out on the other side. Um, you know, add wax and then go in with the flat iron and press it out straight. Still going piece by piece. Um, and you know, I'm gonna hot comb that top part down some more to just catch any kinks in the bundles itself. Um, just to make it nice, neat, and smooth. And I'm just combing and smoothing everything into place. And I'm going to go in with a little edge control on the other side as well. Just to smooth and sleek that front area in. And just blend it in once again with, um, you know, that little edge control. And like I said, I didn't add any spritz or anything to the leave out part. Um, I just kept it nice, soft, and natural. And, you know, sleek looking using that, um, using the edge control and a wax stick to make it all nice, straight, and smooth. So, um, one side brush in that other side and you know comb the hair over like a little comb over that will pretty much complete the look so um, Once I do this last little finishing touch that will pretty much sum up this tutorial So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up once again I do apologize about the angle for me leaving my phone holder for my ring light But overall like I mentioned just to recap this is three bundles of 26 inch from curls queen hair um, this is their light, um, light yaki bundles, super full, root to end, super full root to end. Um, they sent me three bundles, but here I only use two, and like two and a loot, like two and a third, um, of that last bundle, and you can still see how full, sleek, and you know straight the hair is like natural straight the hair is i absolutely love the look and i'm gonna show you the final look in just a few seconds so let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to like this video comment subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more Here is what the hair is looking like after we blended and smoothed everything in. Nice, soft, natural, blended. You can't tell where her hair ends anymore as far as those blunt ends and everything like that. And I just do a little filter at the end because you know she felt like, you know, she looked sleepy or whatever. But thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to check out the description details down below. Till next time.